Hello everyone and welcome back to Allbound. Okay, so in this episode we've got a big one. What we are going to be doing is looking at the automation for and making our steam production automated and then we're going to try and locate silver and gold we're also going to have a look at things like the minecart as well so i have unlocked the minecart and um, it only costs 7500 so i've unlocked that and i have played around a little bit with it just so i know exactly kind of what i'm talking about so that's pretty good but um yeah just to showcase what i've been up to in between episodes i've been building a little fortress here so we've got all of our amenities set up here we've got a nice little bedroom nothing special about it a nice little bedroom here and then yeah i've kind of unfinished this part um but you're probably wondering what this little bit here is so if we head around here into this door you will see i've kind of made a cool little vault so it's all underground now the annoying thing is i did clear all this ore but it seems every time i reload the game it'll respawns which is also handy to know if you need any extra ore um the ore does respawn but yeah there we go we've got a nice little gold piles going but more to the point let's carry on with what we intend to do in this episode so i've still got my blacksmiths we've got a little minecart station there as you can see kind of explored that and i've kind of done some other little bits of preparation and building so we've got a platform over here which we're going to be utilizing for our iron ore there i've also made a platform just down here as well so if we head over here i've kind of extended this little platform here because this is where we're going to put our steam production to power our little factory and over here i've built a platform so once we've got our steam production doing i'll probably get rid of all of this because we're not going to need it because we're not automated and we're probably going to be getting rid of all of this as well and we are going to be utilizing the mine carts so my thoughts for this little section here is we've got one two and we've got an iron node over there which i might not use because it's way over there but we have got another one here so we've got three pretty close by we've also got coal over there and we've also got coal over there so what i'll probably do is set up a drill and the crushers for the iron probably bring them over here into a mine cart and then what i am thinking about doing is once we get rid of all of this i'll probably build a platform down here and make this into my little smelting sort of factory i'll have probably a row of smelters and bits like that for the iron and um, possibly the copper as well depends on how big it's going to actually be and um, we have got a copper node over here as we know um have got one over that direction which i will showcase as well i've built a little platform over there we've got one more over there as well so we can kind of bring them all the way round together um but i might even build a platform probably dig out this little bit here make that flat and we could have the platform for the copper over here and then what we'll do is we'll utilize the mine carts and bring them up into storage which i'm probably going to expand this area and this can be the storage area that's going to be the plan over the next couple of episodes um i'll probably do a lot of the building sort of in between episodes but just quickly let's run through the mine carts before we go into full operation so with a mine cart in fact this gives a perfect opportunity to talk about our wood if you're fed up of chopping down trees what you want to do is look for a wooden structure like this now if you head over to your navigator i've got mine upgraded to level two i can't remember exactly i'll be honest with you when this unlocked but you can look for wood rot and basically that's what this looks like here so this is a 50,000 ancient tree root and basically i've just got a drill so to start with you can use a portable drill or obviously you can make it automated so i've got the drill going into the minecart here so it just automatically distribute into here but i believe it hasn't got any steam power at the moment because i have to disconnect one of my steam yeah i did disconnect one of my steam splitters just to carry on building that platform but we'll get that sorted i've got enough wood in storage anyway so if we open up here we have the minecart has its own little storage system here so we can import items to mine carts but also export them um this one's just basic i've just got that wood going into there and then we've just got a rail set up going all the way up here into this mine car and then the belt feeds it out into this storage over here which is a wood now the good thing about mine car is um it does carry stacks of 800 so that's pretty ideal so as you can see just brings it up over to here and into our storage here so i have 
used quite a lot of wood and we'll just pop some of this back into here but that's the basics of wine carts but you'll probably see a lot more of them and i'll probably do a little bit more explaining so let's head back to the research center and we will unlock the automation four um i have kind of set some chests up over here we have some cogs some plates of copper and iron so we're doing pretty well for those resources over there so let's go ahead we'll research the automation four um, which we need 100 copper ingots so i need to get some copper ingots because i forgot to actually grab some of those that are ready for it so we'll just head over here and grab some copper there we go perfect okay so let's get this research underway so we're going to unlock that and that will give us access to the auto water pump and the belt boiler and also larger storage which is going to be perfect for our next sort of upgrades so let's go ahead and we are going to get rid of all of this and we're going to get this set up and then we're also going to get our coal production set up so we can fully automate all of this so we're just going to get rid of all of this, make some room. I'm not too worried about all of these pipes at the moment because we're going to redistribute where they all go. Okay, so I just want you to bear in mind this is probably, this build is probably going to be a little bit of overkill. Um, but I kind of want it to be uniform and I want everything to kind of match up. So what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to get our storage. We'll do large belt containers maybe, um, or just single belt containers. I'm not too sure. We'll go for the large ones and we'll see how big they are. Okay, so they are fairly big, but we should be able to fit two of these in here quite nicely. That kind of sits on there all right and we'll do the other one just here um in fact what we'll do is we'll bring this one over here and i think we will put the other one directly next to it so it looks quite uniform there we go oh well they look pretty cool actually to be honest with you and now we're going to have our steam production over here so we're going to go into our water and we're going to have our automated water pumps um but first of all what as I said, what I'm probably going to do is do a bit of overkill so I don't have to worry about it too much um, going forward. So what we'll probably do is we'll get a splitter and we will bring this forward. Should be about right. Um, we're going to get a splitter from here as well. Try and get them pretty, kind of a little bit difficult sometimes to get them perfectly lined up. But we did a pretty good job there. So we're just going to get our belts and we're going to line those up that one's a little bit wonky that doesn't matter too much that's fine and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to have four water pumps so each water pump will allow you to do 10 boilers so as i said this is going to be massive overkill but i kind of want to do it so i don't have to worry about it too much going forward so we're just going to need a few more copper and we are probably going to need to get some more iron some iron cogs as well so we'll just grab some of those we will grab the iron cogs over here uh 100 should be pretty good okay so let's go ahead and get our water pumps set up so auto water pump we've got a belt feed going in um so let's try and put these as nice as possible that might be a little bit too big of a gap but it's okay and uh, we'll put that one there we will put that one there and this one annoyingly is not going to fit perfectly but that's okay so let's get to our belts we'll just do this as we go along just so we know where we are and that we don't forget what we're actually doing okay so that is all of that set up basically so um okay so you can also filter splitters that's pretty good actually i didn't actually know you could do that but that's pretty handy to know so each water pump so if you hover over the water pump as well over this water symbol will give you a bit more information on how much pressure you're generating but also your pressure usage so you can kind of work out exactly what kind of parts you need so from here what we're going to do is we're going to go into steam power and we're going to do the belt boiler as well so this is where the build is going to get a little bit more complicated because we obviously have our coal input going this way but we kind of probably um want to kind of do this a little bit different thinking about it i've kind of planned this all wrong because we probably want one storage to feed the boilers and one to feed the water pumps so let's go ahead and remove all this because i kind of planned that incorrectly um but that's not too much of an off issue what we might need to do is expand this foundation out a bit move this back um which i think is actually what i might do so let's go ahead and go for our revised plan which shouldn't take too long to do we should be able to 
get this done pretty quickly sometimes the laying down of foundations is a little bit awkward and a little bit annoying but we're getting there we're getting there very slowly okay that will do for now i think so let's go ahead and get rid of those storage we should kind of probably work backwards might be the best way to do it um okay so going back to what i was saying we'll get our um storage built over here yeah that looks pretty good like that and then we'll put this one next to it um in fact let's spread it out a little bit got a bit more room to play with then at least it's kind of even and we have a little bit of room to play with so pretty much like that that looks pretty good both on the edges we've got a little bit more room to play with now okay so what we want to do is we want to head to our belts and we want to do a splitter so we want to split it from this one um hopefully that's that's going to be in line nope as i said doing the splitters can be a little bit awkward sometimes but we are getting there okay so from this one then what we want to do is then split this into four again so we're going to have one splitter over this direction and we're going to have another splitter direct next to it and that should then okay so hopefully this isn't too close which i have a feeling it might be yeah that's a bit too close and this is sometimes where it gets a little bit annoying trying to work out the distance you need for your splitters um so i'm going to put this one over here definitely gone a bit dark now so i might actually just I'll wait till daytime to get this finished it's a little bit difficult to see okay we've got our splitters lined up so that's pretty good and now we should be able to distribute this one over to here that one to there and now this should all feed our water pumps so we can probably move these water pumps back a little bit and then we're also going to have exactly the same setup here so we'll go ahead and do the same for this side okay so there we go we have all of our splitters all kind of set up and pretty well organized and sorted so now we're going to try and do this um a really complicated way and this is the only downside to it is it can be a little bit fiddly to work all of this out but what we're going to do is get our water pumps we want to leave a little bit of space so we can obviously distribute the other splitters okay so as i said it is kind of complete overkill but i think it looks pretty cool and we're going to be pretty set for a very long time so now we just need to pipe this all up so first of all we're going to do the water now i've removed some of the foundations here so we can kind of hide the plumbing sort of underneath it so what we're going to do is kind of somehow try and drag this over it can be a little bit fiddly as i've said before but we should be able to sort this out okay so we're gonna just use the legs of the foundations to kind of put them where we want to just remove this one as well and we will rotate this round there we go okay so we'll just get this plumbed up completely hide this underground and hopefully even though they're pretty close together we should be able to just simply connect it like that and it should be pretty hidden so i'm gonna go ahead and rotate this one and we'll connect that one to there and hopefully when we put the foundations down we won't see any of this try and keep it as hidden and out of sight as possible there we go so now we can place back the foundations which is good because they do clip through the pipes so that's pretty ideal in achieving what we want to achieve so all of that is now hidden there we go okay so we've got all of that sorted and now we just need to go into the steam production so these automated steam boilers do have two outputs so what i'm kind of thinking about doing just so we know we've got enough production for think is we're going to have kind of two splitters per and that gives us absolutely plenty of outputs and we also need to have some tanks as well so we know how much steam we are actually producing so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to grab some more copper pipes uh, which i believe are in this one over here okay so let's go ahead and get our steam splitters all sorted so we're just kind of going to try and space these out as best as possible just trying to think of the best way to achieve what we're going for so i think what we'll do is we will go one sort of here and then we'll kind of do one there and we'll just kind of rotate them back and forth Forwards, i think will probably be the best way to do it so we'll go ahead and do it like this i think that's going to look pretty good go ahead do this one and then we'll go ahead and do the last one over here okay so yeah we've got pretty good layout just here we'll probably have to move these and not quite in the right position there we go i think that's pretty good for where we want it some of it's a little bit out of line we'll 
kind of figure that one out as we go okay so now we need our steam tanks as well which we could utilize this a blank space over here and we could just feed ourselves a load of tanks and we can kind of run those pipes um underground as well kind of want them facing forward so we can kind of read what pressures we have um so what we'll do is we'll go depends if we kind of want to link it all together i suppose um which we possibly could do we could just link a pipe there but we are going to lose kind of some of the outlets if we do that but i think it's probably going to be the best way to do it so let's go ahead and we're gonna link all of these pipes together we'll link the back row and then we will link the front row so this one's a little bit too close so we need to move this one a little bit further away possibly about there should be good perfect okay so we can link those and then we can link this one round to here we could use this as our pressure outlet and we could just link it kind of this way that's a little bit more hidden and then we'll go ahead and we're gonna need to move this one over slightly as well that should be good probably gonna have to move this one over there okay i think that's all pretty uniform now so we can go ahead and link all these together and then we should have a nice pressure outlet over this side probably only need one pressure outlet to be honest with you although we will have two steam tanks we'll utilize both of these here i think um for our our pressure tanks so just to have a little bit of extra storage just in case things kind of run out and go a bit south which we shouldn't need but it's always handy to have them anyway so we'll put one tank here and i think we'll put the other tank here and then we should be able to just go ahead and join these up not too worried about those being underground but there we go so now we've got plenty of outlets and um, we've got yeah two on each so we've got roughly around about 20 outlets so that should be plenty to power up all of our machines okay so our next problem is to sort out the coal so if we head on down here um i did just notice that a lighting has changed for some reason it thinks we're in a cave up here i'm not entirely sure why but apparently it thinks we're in a cave because it's a little bit dark but unless it thinks down here is a cave so it's brightening up the situation who knows just a little uh, quirk of the game so we've got coal over here if i remember rightly and then we've also got coal back there as well so my thinking is yeah we've got coal here so my thinking is basically taking a drill from that coal setting up a minecart station to bring it over to here and we'll do the same here and then we can kind of bring it up to our coal storage which is going to be here i think that's probably going to be the best way to do it at least then we've got quite a little bit of coal feeding into where we need it to to power our steam system so let's go ahead and get that all set up so first of all we're going to get a drill which we have one over here anyway in fact we've got two drills over here i'm not sure how much have we got a fair bit out of this ore deposit so let's go ahead and select these drills and we're going to face them over in this direction and then what i'm probably going to do is dig out a little um hole along this foundation for the minecart to go to because i think that would be pretty cool so let's go ahead and get this all set up so we're going to have a drill um we're going to have one over here and then we're going to have another drill just here um probably going to merge them into a single belt but first of all let's get the minecart set up so we kind of know where we want the minecart um which is going to be over here so we'll set up the minecart just there yeah that works out pretty well and then what we can do is we can dig kind of under here and we can have the mine cart track and loop back around and attach to here as well so what we're going to do is we're going to get a merger because we want to merge these two belts into one belt over here okay so after a little bit of playing around and um, a little bit more clearing of land and building foundations i've kind of figured out what the plan is going to be so we're going to join it like this so we've got two drills coming out of this this coal probably don't need two drills but we'll just use two anyway just to make sure it's all good and full and then what we're going to do is from this minecart we're gonna go ahead and bring it down to this land over here we'll probably just have one drill out of this coal uh, we'll leave space to add another one if we need to and then we'll have our main input minecart over here i'm not kind of sure if it's possible to join that sort of two minecarts into one minecart we might have to have two separate stations down there but we're gonna kind of figure it out and see how it all goes um i'm pretty sure it might be possible if we just do a complete loop um so we'll go from that one kind of around to this one back through and then back in i'm not entirely sure how we're gonna work it out but 
we'll work it out okay so i've got the drills down on the other column for node and kind of devise a plan of how we're actually going to do this so i'm going to head into the mine carts we're going to get our mine cart station we will need to go and grab some more wood but what my plan is going to be is to bring this over here kind of thinking possibly in this direction and then what we can do is we can bring the belt from here around to the back we can bring the rail from that minecart station over there all the way around to here then we can loop it up to a platform up here and then from that minecart station we can distribute the belts into either of those that's going to be the plan so we're going to grab some more wood um, i'm probably going to build some foundations up there and clean that area out in preparation and then we're going to go ahead and get it all set up okay so let's get to our minecart station down here so we want it kind of in this direction so we'll place it down there i think will be good and then what we can do is bring the belt kind of around here and then we can loop the minecart from over there around to here and up to the foundations that i've built over there so let's go ahead and get this belt situated first kind of want to rotate this round over here bring that round and we'll bring that around to here slight slope up i think that will work pretty well we kind of have to yeah we'll kind of have to bring the minecart over i think that would look pretty cool so we can go ahead and do that what we'll do is we'll get to our minecart set up from over this direction first so this area is all done so we'll bring the minecart from here uh, we'll bring it yeah i think we'll bring it down like that we'll bring it back up here um if we can bring it up without we're looking so distorted and buried in the ground would be nice that's not too bad and then we can kind of bring it up to here it does kind of cross over a bit but that's not too much of a worry and uh, so we can do it like that and then what we can do is we'll bring it out from here up into this direction okay so let's go ahead and get the minecart built up here so what i was thinking about doing is doing it kind of like this what I was thinking about doing is setting it up like this. So we've got our minecart feed in here. And then this one will just basically loop back around to this one over here. And then it will just complete a circuit. So we'll just pick them up as it goes along. I haven't tried to use them without a loop circuit. So I might just not connect this end and see what happens. We'll see how it works from there. Um, but what we're going to do now is get our belt set up while we're up here. So we are going to need it to go into a splitter. Now awkwardly I can't place a foundation down here because of this. But what we might be able to do um, is bring the belt across. Let's see what we can do with regards to the foundation. So yeah we can't place it there. Um, because we've got this node over in this direction so what we're going to do is kind of place our splitter kind of floating like this um, which kind of looks a bit odd but we'll have to make do with the space we've got available and we're going to bring those to there and then what we need to do is bring that belt straight over there like so so now we can connect to this minecart over here so we're going to bring the truck around here and up in this direction is going to be the plan so oh we can do it from here so the reach is pretty good which saves us a little bit of time and uh, we're just going to bring the track around here kind of loop it on itself um around here so we want to not have too much of a steep of angle we're not going to be able to connect it to here okay so let's move this around a little bit uh we'll get rid of that one kind of got to work out the best way that this is going to fit we go around like this and then we can go back up to here for some reason it doesn't want to connect there we go okay so we now have it connected it looks like a little bit of a roller coaster ride but we should be okay so if we now jump back down here and we go ahead and select this we'll spawn the minecart there we'll spawn the minecart the other side and then we just need to connect all of these drills um with steam so we are start producing our coal so we have our steam production up here we will need to manually feed some of that with coal but we should have plenty of coal in storage just to get it started so now we just need to go ahead and figure out how we're doing the plumbing side of things what i'll probably do is take a feed um from one of these outlets over here so we've got one here which will feed two drills down there quite nicely uh, we still need to connect up all of these Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a feed from the first splitter, take the feed 
to all the way down here um, and then eventually we'll put it through a splitter and uh, we're going to bring this round to here we're just going to pull down here a little bit and then what we'll do is we'll go put it there for now and then we'll get our splitter down and that should give us the right amount of steam that we need to power these two drills once we find the steam input for this drill there we go okay so that's our first lot of drills all sorted and then what we could do is take the feed from here all the way over there because we might as well use this extra space over here because i don't think we're going to need any more drills on the, this coal ore deposit although we might do at some point i'm going to go ahead and bring this down over here kind of make sure it's going to be buried underground so that's pretty good and we're going to bring it all the way over to here perfect and then we can bring it over in this direction to a splitter and do the exact same over here so i'm going to go ahead and link that to that one I'm going to bring that there and there we go we can link those together so now what we need to do is just kind of grab some of our coal that we've got into storage we'll pop them into this storage over here and it should feed everything and everything should be running quite smoothly so we're going to go ahead and grab a few stacks of these uh we'll grab another stack five stacks should be plenty uh, we'll do two stacks in each and then we can see how our mine cart works whether it does go in this direction or not yeah i think it does need to be looped um so that's going to cause a little bit of an issue it just means we've got to try and figure out how we're getting that to down there if that's not too much of an issue we can figure that one out shouldn't be too difficult so we'll go ahead and shove a couple of stacks in there some in there and hopefully it should all fire up and start working but in the meantime we're going to go ahead and drag this minecart uh we're gonna bring it down to here i think um trying to think of the best way to do this so we could bring it yeah i think what we'll do is we'll bring it down to around here it's going to look a bit odd though with this foundation here so we might need to get rid of these foundations just to make it look a little bit cleaner and then what we can do is do a single foundation kind of over here just so it kind of blends in a little bit there we go so we're gonna head on down here now continue building our ale all the way along this direction we'll just follow the path kind of along here i think will be the best way to do it then we can kind of loop it back on itself so we'll bring this try and stay clear of this iron ore node because we will be utilizing that so i'll we'll bring that along to here ideally we want to kind of go up and over but it's kind of going to just merge into one now which isn't too bad but that should be fine so now the mine carts should basically do their little travels all the way along to here so if one kind of runs out it should be okay because we should be able to fill this one up kind of a little bit annoying that it's going to fill up that one first and then obviously this one's going to be quite full but we should be able to spawn a minecart over this as well so that should give us a little bit more so let's go ahead and jump up here and see how this is all progressing so it's definitely filling up hopefully once we've kind of filled up all of these um we should be good to go and have a little bit of a buffer so they are slowly filling up i am just a little bit worried with how this is going that it's not going to be filling up this one here but we have got three minecarts on the go so hopefully it should be okay but it's not too bad because once this one is depleted over there which is running a little bit low anyway um it should just go ahead and continue to this one and we can always shorten the tracks if we need to so our next plan is to kind of get something similar set up but for the iron um, but what we're going to do is probably do something a little bit different with how we've learned how it all kind of works might just belt feed into the smelters over there and then just kind of set up a minecart system to transfer the iron ingots over to our storage system over there it's probably going to be the best way to do it i think um, but that's something for me to play around in between episodes get that built up ready for the next step in our production so hopefully you have liked the video and you found it helpful and kind of give you some tips on how to set up the fully automation the steam production if you have enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe as well for more all bound content coming it's been crypto here thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video